Hello friends, welcome back to module 6 of Collapse in the Chest Imaging series. In this final module, we shall discuss the name signs of collapse in chest radiograph. We will be discussing about the five name signs, which are the Luftischel sign, the Flatway sign, the Goldenest sign, the Superior Triangle sign, and finally the Juxtaphrenic Peak sign. First about the Luftischel sign. What do you mean by Luftischel? It's a German name and it means sickle of air, where the shell stands for sickle and Luft stands for air. Let's see where it is seen. So you have this X-ray of chest which demonstrates classic left upper lobe collapse. And what is striking here, there is a loss of aeration and it's seen as opacity and there is definitely volume loss. So this is a case of collapse. Now if you were to look carefully, what do you see? You can see a band of lucency surrounding the aortic knuckle. What does this represent? It represents the spared superior segment of left lower lobe which is undergone compensatory overinflation and it is outlining the iota and this is a classic picture that you get in left upper lobe collapse and this is called the Luftischel sign. Coming to the next sign which is the flat waist sign. You have the heart occupying within the between the lungs as seen on the chest radiograph and you get the two prominence of the aortic knuckle somewhere here and of the pulmonary base somewhere over here. This is how you can visualize the chest radiograph, right? Now if there is a right, sorry, left lower lobe collapse, what happens? You get a retrograde cardiac triangular density. And what happens in collapse? There is pull of the mediastinum. So there is definitely a component of rotation. And due to this rotation, what will happen? This aortic knuckle and the pulmonary bay also will get rotated and it will go behind and will lose its knuckle like a knob like pro prominence on the chest radiograph. Let's see an example. As you can see, what happens? You get the left level of collapse because of root cardiac triangular density and the left cardiac border appears flat. You cannot see the prominence of pulmonary bay and somewhat the aortic knuckle prominence is also obliterated. So this is a flat way sign seen in left lower lobe collapse. So we have seen the Luftischel sign, the flat way sign. Now moving over to the third sign which is a golden S sign. This is a classic sign seen in right upper lobe collapse due to a hilar mass. Each and every word is important. We know that the right upper lobe collapse, there can be several causes and the most important cause is the lesion, a malignancy occupying the central part of the lung somewhere near the hilum. For example, as you can see here, you have a mass here, okay? And due to this mass, it is surrounding the bronchus and what happens, it is occluding. So definitely there is a collapse. So together, this will form appearance of an S. So this component in the lower part is the mass that forms the bulge of the S and the collapse part of the lung forms the convexity part of the S. So hence called the golden S sign. Let's see them in a radiograph. So in this radiograph, what can you see? You can see there is a loss of aeration, there is volume loss, but typically this shape, the S-shaped manner with this part representing, somewhere here representing the hilar malignancy and this part representing the collapsed lung. So this is the golden S sign of white upper lip collapse due to a hilar mass. Very important. Now finally, we are moving to the next sign, which is the superior triangle sign. So don't get confused with this term, though there is a term called superior, this sign is seen in classically right lower lobe collapse. Right lower lobe collapse or right middle lobe with right lower lobe collapse. Let's see what happens. So this is a typical, this is a typical picture of right lower lobe collapse. What has happened here? There is an opacity, a triangular opacity and there is volume loss. What else is abnormal here or what else is striking here? If you were to look carefully, you can see a triangular density right in the upper lung zone too. I'll zoom it out for you. That's how it will look. You can see a triangular opacity in the right upper lung zone. And you have here the classic picture of 
right lower lobe collapse in the form of a triangular density going behind the mediastinum. So this is the superior triangle sign which is seen as an ancillary finding in right lobe lobe collapse and this is due to the fact that in collapse there is pull pull of the mediastinum to the so, same side and due to which the mediastinum get distorted there is rotation and the anterior mediastinal structures here will go displacement and will take a configuration that mimics something like this on a chest radiograph so this is a superior triangle sign of right lower lobe collapse coming to the last sign which is the juxtaphoretic peak sign what happens here in this picture, what do you see? There is an opacity here, a whale-like opacity, yes, and there is some added density in the hilum. So this is a case of left upper lobe collapse. And if you look carefully and scan all of the lung fields and the other structures, you can see a peaking, a tending of diaphragm that we classically call a tending of diaphragm. And this is seen as an additional finding in cases of collapse, be it on the right or the left side. So this is the juxtaphoronic peak sign classically seen in collapse, where you get the tenting or peaking of the diaphragm. So, so we have covered the important name signs of collapse in chest radiograph. I hope it's all clear. So stay tuned and please subscribe for more videos in this channel. Thank you.